if we want to think about what is an ism, because this is just fundamental to this week's content and, and part of next week is, is you know, um, usually any way you put a word and you put ism on the end, it's saying that it's an ideology, that it's a set of, of beliefs or values or, um, you know, like, uh, you know, thoughts, however you want to think about it, that, that are collective and um, that are constructed and disseminated and reproduced within society or culture or subcultures, you know, however, however you want to think about that. When we talk about religion, we can think of theism as basically, you know, theism is that the belief that there is a God. There's a God. So theistic religions usually hold that there is one singular um, God, you know, or that there is a God, you know. When you look at religions that are monotheistic, there is one singular God. There's only one God that exists in, in, in the, the realm. I don't even know what the, how, to say, how to say that. So in Islam, Judaism, Christianity, there is one single God, and each of those uh, religions have their God, you know, and that is the God. That's not just their God, that is the God. And that ultimately, that belief that your God is the God, and the word of that God is the word, that's where isms lead to, to violence. Okay, so you have uh, religions like Hinduism and Buddhism, where it's polytheistic, where there's m multiple uh, multiple gods within the the view of uh, you know of of the holders of the beliefs, um, uh, you know Hinduism also and Taoism also has uh, pantheism, which is this this general belief that God is everything. God is you. God is nature. Um, you know God is in everybody and it exists. So Hinduism kind of you know you can't really like lump it into um, you know, polytheism or pantheism, but they, that religious belief system has a little bit of both of that. Now, obviously, we have atheism, so theism is there is a God. Um, atheism is there is no such thing as God. Definitely, like, like, that's the thing. Uh, most people who, who proclaim themselves to be a atheist, you know, believe that there definitely, no doubt, is not a fucking God, okay? There's no God. It just simply does not exist. And as we see in South Park, you know, that, that belief can also be a very fundamentalist and problematic, uh, you know, belief when taken to the extreme. You know, that's the thing about South Park is, you know, they're really going after the extremist viewpoints of these belief systems, of these dogmas. And then lastly, we have agnosticism, which is this, you know, concept that there may be a God, that you're maybe spiritual, that you've maybe felt a presence that is, you know, spiritual or, or godly in your life when you've had, you know, mo a, certain, a certain moment um, that brings that about, um, but you don't maybe don't partake in a particular particular religion um, you just you just think or feel there is um, a god okay so that takes us through some of the isms um, as it relates to religion so uh, we'll talk a little bit through some of the readings and, and get into the episode so I, I think the the central thing if we think back to back teen and we think about the carnival-esque is that a major part of the, 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 the carnival's humor was religion and sort of um, attacking it um, in medieval carnival um, and also obviously uh, literature. The carnival was a space where you could, you could um, make those jokes about the gods and, and those who represented and spoke the words of of the gods without repercussions because it was carnival, because it was a, a, a celebration um, that you could, you know, um, take the monks and friars and you could take representations of, of these religious, um, you know, human religious figures and subject them to the carnival, to lower body stratum 
um, humor. And this is a major part in South Park where almost all major religions in their extremist views are subjected to, um, you know, shit and ass and piss jokes, puke jokes. You know, it's a major part of it, okay? But what they try to get into in South Park is an interrogation of basically people who partake in religion who do not question bizarre beliefs and acceptance of these beliefs, that people just accept um, some of the beliefs of these specific religions without any sort of question. And South Park likes to dig under that, as we specifically really see in uh, Red Hot Catholic Love. Okay. Other ways that South Park explores religion is, you know, um, as we'll see, um, as for-profit, you know, entities, um, you know, you know, religious groups, um, churches don't pay taxes. They're considered non nonprofits. Um, in the same sort of vein as you'd probably consider, like the University of Oregon, a, a nonprofit. Okay, so this makes them tax exempt, and this is one of the main reasons why a lot of people have critiqued uh, the Church of Scientology. So South Park explores that element, the financial element. They also look at how um, churches can be partake in brainwashing. Um, you know, are there straight up can be brainwashing institutions um, that use super superstitions that are you know to take advantage <coughs> of. Um, members or possible members and then also look at you know how churches can also be um, these sort of outdated secret societies so these are some of the methods and avenues that South Park uses to um, interrogate uh, various religious groups um, in, in episodes and again everybody gets gets ripped on except for um, you know maybe Islam kind of you know gets a pass, um, as, we, as we've seen for various reasons. They don't really go too hard there. They really go hard on, on, on Christians, though. Um, South Park has, as we know from the jump, from the beginning, before South Park was even South Park, um, displayed Jesus Christ. Um, you know, and um, those, the depiction and how they've shown Jesus Christ is, 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 is a parody on the hippie Jesus, okay, and, and, and you know, you know what hippie Jesus is, this is the white, long-haired, be bearded, wearing a white linen or something, you know, uh, you know, that Jesus, hippie, hippie Jesus, um, and that's how South Park is, well, except for like the first, you know, early episodes, Jesus versus Santa and stuff like that, um, you know, have portrayed him in a very specific way. But for the most part, Jesus in South Park is not divine. He, he lacks many of the divine powers that you would expect, um, you know, the Son of God um, to have. He instead is simply a celebrity, you know, um, on Jesus and Pals, you know, and just in general. He's famous, you know, but he doesn't have the, the powers that you would associate with um, a God, essentially. Okay, so South Park has depicted him in a very specific way.